uh, six Abrams are moving towards the airfield. Yeah, I put quite a bit of um, armor out there. So there's there's also a possibility that we'll get in the airhead that way, and all of those ground units will completely wipe everything before we can even get started. Actually, I think I'm just going to leave it with the uh, stuff they put on here. I'm just interested to see if these Abrams are actually going to be able to take out these T-80s. They've done it before. I've seen it. Both of them are within engagement range, so... But they probably can't see each other because of the trees and river. Right. Oh, the scorpion. I know they made some changes, so I'm going to really be having fun with this one. Because I haven't been keeping up with what changes they made. Yeah, Hotas logic's changed as well. Yeah, so this might be entertaining. And I'm still going to put it on YouTube. I'm just waiting on INS. Let's see how this works. I think so. 
I test I set my uh, one radio to the inner beacon for the airfield, yeah. so I can use uh, ADF to fly to it. Oh, that's smart. This guy using logic. Norse is going places. DCS. Yeah, I think it'd be interesting to do some different airframes in all these videos I'm posting up to. Show some diversity. Yeah, totally. Where? I'm I'm really stoked if they really do put the uh, nods in a vegan. I don't know how realistic that would be. I mean, in theory, you can put nods in any aircraft as long as you can just mount it to a helmet, right? Right. Interior lights are. Yeah, I mean. Friendly for it. On my way. I'm rolling make, now. Make my way down up north. I thought you were about to start breaking out into, you know, making your way downtown. Because, you know, we know you'd walk a thousand miles. Ooh, taking off right into the sun. It'll be gone soon. Which, which reminded me to do a nod check. My nods? Yeah, nods. That's why I grabbed the, uh, I grabbed the gazelle. Because if we get into dark, at least I've got Fleer and... Right. I would say it surprises me that the uh, the K-50 doesn't have it, but think of that era of Russian equipment. They really didn't care. It's got... I mean, I've got nods in it, but the Cheval is just, a, you know, it's just TV, so... Yeah. Rolling. Is that rain or snow? But yeah, not a basically no storm clouds in sight, but we're definitely in some rain. Yep, and I, I just took off. And the second I left the airfield, it's not raining. So those T eighties. Mm -hmm. Took out all the Bradleys and all the Abrams. What? <laughs> yeah. So this is gonna be fun. So yeah, those, it sounds like it. Those Bradley, the T80s, are basically. About 70-ish degrees from the airfield, about three kilometers. Copy. Well, I'm in the air, so hopefully I can get my way there quick. Love putting that uh, T-Pod info on my uh, Scorpion. I am 
hundred miles from my target. Copy. First waypoint goes straight into the sun also. My 701s are missing their like glass cap at the end. So huh. the, uh, like the secret head is just exposed. Huh. I mean, does it really need to be protected? It's going to get damaged. I guess. Taking a second, getting used to uh, everything with the freaking scorpion and the teapot again. Been flying the Caucasus so much. At some point, we may have to figure out what some of these landmarks are. Like on this Georgia side, this giant river that you know I'm about to cross over that feeds into the Black Sea. We should probably learn what that river is called. Mm, yeah. Instead of the giant river that feeds into the Black Sea. Because there are a few of those. Right. There's like three of them just in Georgia alone, aren't there? Bruiser times two. Nice.
I think that's the Patara and Bree River. You know the football game's on, guys? So. It's called what again? Sorry, I was talking to kids. The Patara Ingri River. P A T A R A E N G U R I. Okay, we'll just call it Patara. Yeah. The P E River. There we go. Thirty-three miles from Ingress. About seventy-two clicks out. Copy. Um, 30 miles, so, yeah, I'm just a little closer than you are. Yeah, you're about 20 clicks away from me. Yeah, I'm moving a little faster now, though, since I got the altitude and leveled out. Oh, there's the rain. Oof. Rain in a K-50. Turn on the windshield wiper! Which they still I'm don't even have that model yet, do they? Oh, that's right, you're in a gazelle. I'm in the gazelle. It's got a windshield wiper. Yep. But it doesn't have the uh, effects, so... I should talk to Sven. Tell him, come on, model it, figure it out. Tell him to say Decca would have done it with the Jeff. <laughs> Tim's fighting words. Right, I'm feet wet. I'm flying right by the uh, the airfield. Copy. A couple uh, aircraft on the deck. There's one lined up on the runway. Yeah, I'm going to come into the cast point feet wet myself. Yeah, I've got nails 34 from behind us. Copy. There's uh, some F-15s that should be running um, cap for us right in that area. Getting locked up by a 34. What? Really? Drop into the deck. I don't even see it in my RWR. Yeah, me neither. All right, I am just outside the the gas point, 15, 15 miles. Uh, 
Don't see any red smoke anywhere though. Yeah, me neither. Norris, do you have last night's op order at all? Um, like the overall one? Uh, that works too, I guess. I just I need one so I can put the mission information in the description. Yeah, just a minute. I can. As soon as we get done with this mission, I will uh, send you. White... Yeah, they deleted white team's uh, subgroup, so like that was where ours was at, and I don't have that anymore. <laughs> I'll send, um, uh, I can send you Monty's. Okay. Nice. Okay, they so I'm... did a really good job last, by the way. I forgot oh, wow. to, uh, align my stuff with the Mavericks. So Dave did a really good job last. Yeah, he did. He's he's good at flying. Yep, and I think so. Hopefully, we get enough people to he can stay just full time transpo. Right. He does really good like slowing down and like not like he like he can hit the spot right where he needs to. It's like. Thirty ones are getting annoying. Oh no, they got a uh, they got a bird on the deck. I'm gonna see if I can attempt to use APKWS on them. Which one are you going for? Uh, one on taxiway right at the end, where he's almost holding short on the runway. There's a couple more on the ramp on the other side. Copy. I hit the one that's on the runway, it smoked for a bit, but not any longer. Dropped a couple this way. There we go, got some hits. Got a 31 spike in me. Only thing I wish on his stream was I wish that, like... Yeah, those 31s are far. I wish the audio from his, Copy. like, on his desktop side was louder. Like, I think that one just mentioned it to him. Yeah. It's weird though, like, like the, the, the helo warnings are loud enough, then when, like, hearing everybody else is low. I think I did pretty good there. First time using APKWS is I still put hits. There you go. I mean, he's halfway in the dirt and he's missing a wing, so he ain't going anywhere. Hopefully those 15s just took out those 31s because their nails just dropped. Yep. Looks like the one that's on the runway itself is damaged too, so... Is that what you were saying, Mustang? Yeah, that's one I hit. Copy. I don't know if I got a kill for it though. I... I it just disappeared on me. Alright. So, either way, it's not there. So that makes me wonder if I should uh, roll back in and finish off that SU-33 eye damage just to make sure it gets uh, Gondi gone.
I was just looking at the map. Be careful to the kind of the east southeast of the airfield. Our Abrams are rolling in. Copy. I'm gonna roll in and put uh, a couple more APKWS on that thing. Two more. Two more good hits. It's definitely uh, not going anywhere. It has no more wings at all. We're only on a BTR. Copy. So Mustang, behind you, kind of on the river between the two cities, there are two T-80s. Okay, stand by. I'm gonna go feet wet and come back in. They look like they're in the forest area. It's a Shack 1 PTR as well. Copy. Do we have anything else actually in the airfield ground-wise? There's nothing showing on the, uh, from like the Reaper or anything. The only two things I see are those tanks. And those They're are about, in... from the airfield, they are about 0, 05, 3, 4, 6 kilometers. They're right on the, on the small river that's running between the two cities. Copy. It'll be the southern river, so you've got three rivers. It's going to be the middle one. Some just hit me. I see a line of tanks uh, running column. Six of them heading north. Are those friendly? Right, those are friendly. Copy. I see a glow mark over here, right nestled in kind of a little U-shaped wedge between some trees. You. Uh, right um, now it's uh, bearing three two zero from me, and it's close. So from from you, the those tanks are about at your eleven o'clock, uh, heading roughly three four one. Copy. Looking, searching. Yeah, they're about eleven o'clock now. So you're passing over one river here. Roger. So it's going to be that next river, just the other side of the city, about 11 o'clock. It's going to be in some trees. Copy. Roughly heading 293. In the trees? In the trees. You're kind of in an orbit of them right now. They should be off your left wing. So if you follow okay. that river down, they're hiding right there in those trees. Copy. I'm gonna river change. Down. Yeah, I'm gonna change my orbit so I can have my teapot there. Use uh, FLIR. Right, I'm, I'm up at Angel's uh, 11.5. Roger that. And yeah, I got some a little bit of Swiss cheese on the left wing. Nor, so you talking about the river that's uh, directly north of? The airfield so it's it's gonna be that center field or that center river so you've got three rivers yep it's the middle one should be about zero four zero from the airfield yeah it's about yeah and it looks like a su-33 or su-34 has popped up on the field about where at in these trees so they are... Like, if you take the tree run, there are two large groves of trees, and there's that little narrow corridor that's still treed up into there. Uh, I'm looking in the narrow corridor at the moment. So it's in the thick portion of it. To the so east or the west? 
uh, it's going to be more the northeast. They're on the southern side of the river. So starting from where the trees start at the south Copy. east, it's about 1.9 kilometers in from there. All right, I'm searching. It's like a bad game of Marco Polo. But they're not in the little village there, though, correct? No, they are in the grove of trees. Just to the west, downstream of the village, on the south end of the river. Yep, so if you go downstream from the river, from the edge of the city downstream, they're about one kilometer. And they're hidden pretty well, then. Okay, so... When you're ready, I can uh, send you. Uh, I can send you grid. I don't even know if the grid would get me much more different into it. And to be completely honest, I've never even tried to do that in Warthog. Sure. I'm gonna climb up higher to get a better overhead on it. And you said about 1.9 clicks downstream, right? In the grove? Correct. In the grove. Yeah, from the edge of that, from S City. Mm hmm. Yeah. So you should be, you're passing at your 3 o'clock Mustang. I'm about to just like launch some in there anyway and see if I just get them to scatter. I think that sounds like a plan. I just see some explosions in there. I think I found them. Um, I've got one Mav left if you wanna, if you can laze. Uh, I'm trying to confirm that I've got them. Because I'm seeing, I'm seeing plumes come up into there too, so there's something going on. Yeah, I think our Abrams from the south might be trying to engage them. Roger. The bomb the, uh, MLRS. There's, there's quite a few. There's, Is there one on the north side of that river also? Nope. From the intel on the map, it's showing them both on the south side. Roger that. But there might be some hidden by the fog of war, so... They're hidden so well in the trees, I can't even see them very well at the teapod. And then, yes, I have got laser pretty well ready to go, code 1688. We've got a SU-34 on the runway, or on the taxiway, heading towards the runway. Copy. I don't think he's going to be using that runway, but... Well, there's a smoke plume. Yeah. Uh, I think that's one of the statics, but that's kind of the area that they were shooting at, right? Correct. I'm going to roll in at the APKWS and just kind of fire down to where those were. Fire to Ripple of 3. You're hitting just a little north of them. Copy. You're about maybe 800 meter or about 30, about 300 meters to the north west of them. Copy. It's 
So, but we were close then. You were close. So, I was hitting northwest, is what you're saying? Yep, we were hitting northwest of them, about 300 meters. Copy. All right, we're going to go back in and fire for effect. Two more. You are way from there. You're about 400 meters north. So I'm going, I went the wrong way. Uh. I probably told you the wrong way. Oh shit, someone's firing at me. Is there something in that Unknown. village? Uh, unknown? Okay, so last hits, because I went to the south when you said I was north. Do I need to go north in the opposite direction? You're pretty much online, just go north about 300 meters. Okay, we're gonna go in one more time. Firing. Rifle, just firing one this time. Ooh, I think you were right in the area. Yep, I am. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, yep. I'm eating shit. Alright, I got I got locked. I bailed. <laughs> but you found him from there, Ooh. Mustang? Yep, I got a lock on him through the trees. I don't know if I can hit him. That was a BMP that shot you. Damn. So there's a BMP-3 in there, too, someplace. Guess why he's doing that? I'll just walk over to him. This might take a while. Nope, I dropped the lock. Damn. I have the general area, but I can't see him through the trees. That was the issue I had, too. It's so thick. That's what she said. Well, the videos have been posted, and there's my first time getting shot down. Well, it looks like we captured the airfield. I mean, I'll take it. I mean, we have... Looks like our Bradleys are there, and they're shooting at that SU-30 that's taxiing. Uh, yeah, I don't think that SU-30 is going to be able to do anything against Bradleys. Not was on the ground. I hear the booms in the distance. Yeah, it sounds like this needed to have, like, um, clusters, uh, like, shape munition clusters. Oh, mad. Or just, oh, like, I'm down. or like a full-on ripple and carpet bomb, this area. I was doing a recon of where I was going to go to, and something happened. So, I think I clipped the tail or something. So the downside is is I'm down. The good side is, is I'm walking through those woods and I can hear its engine. Huh. 
Yeah, I can't see through these trees. Oh, it's super freaking thick veg. Oh, I forgot to install the better trees mod too. It's like walking through here, be very, very quiet. I'm hunting communists. No, I said yes. So I jumped in one of the tanks and they're doing they're getting their ammo replenished. Nice. So I can't move. <laughs> Where'd my pistol? Pull out your pistol and a hand grenade, jump on top. Right. Last night was the Hadouken. Today should be sure you can. Alright, I'm fuel stay at 1.6. I probably got five more minutes left. So, yeah, I see the BMP. And when I say I see it, I see, I'm like on him. So, there's definitely a little bit of a clearing. Oh wow, there's two of them on top of each other here. I mean, they're right on the stream. And they're in a small clearing, like I'm looking straight up and I see nothing but blue sky. But you'll want to have to come in from roughly the southwest to see it. It looks like uh, there's a couple of craters nearby too, so I was close. Driver's sticking his head out. Can I shoot him? Something flying right over me. Yeah, Is that you? Me. Uh, I'd be right at you, right below you to your left. And when I say to your left, just easy to your left. You're flying right over, and now you're behind me. And I'm standing right with them. 
So, for some reason, our uh, paladins to the south mm -hmm. are floating in the ocean. I mean, that's not what they're supposed to do? <laughs> About 60 seconds, they are going to... Uh, I'm trying to see if I can have those guys have a bad day. Nice. I just set them to uh, go after ten these. rounds. Try nice. ten rounds at that area. Well, if it does, and if you hit, it's going to get really loud on my side. Shots out. I think I see your burning rack. I see something in the air again. Is that you again, Mustang? Yeah, I'm sort of south. Yeah, you're you're turning away from us. Unfortunately, yeah. I don't have a compass, so I can't give you. Oh, I hear booms. It's off the other side of the river, looks like. One shot. I was misidentifying those. I thought those were T-80s. Those are BMP-3s. Yeah. All right. Be right back. Quick second.
All right, I'm back. I'm bingo. I have to RCB. Copy. Magged a tank to drive up there to uh, attempt to shoot those guys. Sounds good. So I didn't see anything report-wise on the seed missions we sent that way. So I don't know how they did. Yeah, well, guess that means they're dead. Probably, because I don't see them in the air at all. No, I'm just watching your tank. Man, I guess that Abrams cruising. Yeah, those guys be hard to see from the air. I don't know if I'll even be able to see them from the uh, ground. I mean, you will, but will it be too late? Yeah. When you do. One thing I found out about the AI when it does that on combined arms is they're, they're freaking ninja reflexes. is they don't they don't have the restriction of uh, being blocked by trees right shit's broken man <laughs> Nor flags. Norse if I were you I would go ahead and hang a right and go around that uh, grove on the outside and come in from the other side itself you have a little bit of a shorter run of trees it might help
so nice that the lights come on. Isn't it though? It's just the little things. Yeah, go ahead and hang a left right there. Follow that tree line. Continue to follow the tree line, don't go in just yet. Okay, if you turn straight in now, you'll go straight towards him. There's a chance I had my flaps down this whole flight. There's your two o'clock. One o'clock. You're almost right on top of them. They're just right past that run of trees. Right on the other side of that tree in front of you. Yeah, it's just a, a bunch of... It's more like everything's bushes instead of trees. Yeah. You are, you're like a tank length to your right, to your right. Um, pay dirt. They did. I think we're good to uh to call it. Call it. Okay. Must must you make it to the ground? Almost, I'm on final. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop mine and hop out. She'll stop my recording. And that way when Mustang lands and we'll import everything in and see how far we get.